Hello there! The world of Star Wars is full of action figures and vehicles and other miscellaneous toys. But there are also a lot of shirts and socks and other wearables that collectors can buy and wear to broadcast that they love the Star Wars franchise. Welcome to Unboxing the Boxes, my Star Wars collection. This is episode 97, the box t-shirts and other wearables. You may remember this plush blanket that I picked up at a garage sale this summer. Well, I was looking for a place to store it and came across a box that has several fun boxed, boxed t-shirts and other wearables in it, including some socks and different things. I thought it might be fun to share these with you. The boxes that these shirts came in are kind of fun marketing, and the socks are a bit, shall we say, on the wild side, at least for somebody my age. Maybe the younger generation wouldn't mind wearing these at all. If you enjoy these Star Wars collection videos, I would like to invite you to like this video, to leave a comment on what you think of them, or at least the stuff in this video, and of course to hit that subscribe button and help out the channel. If you want to see more of these, let me know about it. Now, let's see what's in this box that this blanket is going to be added to. Okay, box is emptied. It's time to go through this stuff. And there is some other interesting things other than box t-shirts in here. So let's start with those. First of all, we have a cap. Yeah, you know, just the regular cap you'd wear. Kind of a winterish type cap. This one features Kylo Ren. Um, not too bad. Might be, I guess it stretches out. I guess I could wear this in the wintertime. Minnesota winters can be kind of cool, you know. But I thought it was kind of a neat little cap. Don't have a price on it, so, oh, there it is. Three dollars. Three dollars to keep your head warm. Well worth the money there, I would say. Next, we have a Star Wars towel and washcloth set. So the washcloth features Darth Vader, as you can see down here. A little blue and black design, a little white mixed in. And as far as the towel design goes, we have Stormtroopers and Darth Vader. And if you can see the picture there, it does feature Stormtroopers and Darth Vader. Here's the back. You can see the bigger Darth Vader across the back here. So kind of a nice little towel set if you're designing your bathroom to be a Star Wars type bathroom. Because I know you can also get shower curtains and different things like that too. Which reminds me, I do have a Star Wars shower curtain somewhere. I haven't used it, but I know I have one. Put this with it, I could have a pretty good bathroom, don't you think? Okay, we have a couple couple Star Wars t-shirts, and these might be doubles of some of the t-shirts you've seen me wear during these videos. I've got a couple dozen t-shirts now that I've cycled through when I do these. Well, let's see which ones these are. The first one here looks like we have Boba Fett, or at least one of the Mandalorians. I'd say this is Boba Fett, don't you? Kind of a nice t-shirt. Kind of the square rectangular design, just like you see across my shirt here today, featuring Obi-Wan Kenobi. The next one looks like something from the Bad Batch. There we go. And it is from the Bad Batch. So, I kind of like the uh, design for it. We've got Valor, Honor, and Victory. And, of course, number 99 was their division. So, nice t-shirt there. Next one's kind of a, I guess, a little, well, here's another 99 one. It looks like I've got two of those shirts. I think I picked those up at five below, so they're only five bucks. Not too bad. And... Here we've got a white t-shirt featuring our favorite youngster, and that would be the child. So that can tell you that's from the first season of The Mandalorian, because they hadn't named Grogu yet until the second season. So kind of a wild-looking t-shirt, almost uh, something from the 70s. 
type of look. So there's the regular t-shirts. We'll just move those off to the side quick. Uh, the next thing here is um, kind of interesting. These are resealable bags with the Star Wars design on them. Uh, they're 23 inches by 16 inches. And on the back here, it says this is an extra size, extra large size that holds up to four bags of groceries. Well, depending on the bag of groceries, I suppose. But got, uh, I think, three different designs here. As you can see, this one features Grogu from The Mandalorian, of course. The next one is also from The Mandalorian. And as you can see, got a lot of different designs there. A lot of different uh, things. It looks like a bunch of, uh, almost like posters. Um, I do notice it has a built-in pocket in it too, which is kind of nice. Here's a third one from The Mandalorian. A lot simpler looking. As you can see, it just kind of features the helmet of The Mandalorian. And here is another one of this one. And the reason I bought two of these is because, you know what? I want to find out what these actually look like. So, yes, I am going to open this one. And see what we got here. All right. There, we're starting to get somewhere. Oh, this is actually a pretty decent sized bag. Okay, so here we are. This is what the bag looks like. Nice big carrying handles on it, as you can see. You can actually put your head through it. But yeah, it's a pretty decent sized bag. I'd say it'd be four small bags of groceries. Nothing too large. But it does kind of have nice design of the different things from the first and second season of The Mandalorian. And as far as that little pocket goes, isn't a very big one, but there is a little pocket inside where this is kind of a plasticky type. This is more nylon, more like a cloth. And... Uh, now, it's not a very big pocket, but you could probably put some change or something in it. But as soon as you tip it over, you'd lose what's ever in it. So there you go. What do you think of these bags? They're kind of nifty. I kind of like them. Get this out of the way and move on to the next thing. All right, let's talk about keeping your feet warm. And how do you do that? Well, you get a good set of socks to put on your feet. Uh, the first couple of bundles here are from The Mandalorian again. Hey, over the last two, three years, what do you find the most of? The Mandalorian and Grogu, right? So this one features the child and uh, it actually comes with two pair of socks and the other pair also features the child. Um, like I said, a little bit on the wild side there. This one's not too bad. Basically just has the child across the upper part of the sock. This one, all over the place. We also have one featuring the Mandalorian. So there again, one a little more subdued and one a little more toward the wild side, a little more fancy if we want to call it that. Um, this one says, the kids with me. So, and then we have best in the galaxy. So two nice pair of socks or two sets of two pair of socks. But what if you want more socks? Well, you could buy a larger pack of socks. And this one happens to have five, no, six pair of socks in it. Again, this one is, this is six pair of casual crew socks and pretty much featuring things from the original trilogy this time. Um, you can see you've got various colors here, gray being, of course, the main one. On the back, it shows you what the various socks are. And as you can see, we just have Star Wars. We have Darth Vader and Stormtroopers. We got the Death Star. We got Yoda. We got the Rebel Alliance. And we've got Chewbacca. So we've pretty much got the whole run of things 
with this six pack. So not too bad. They look, like I said, it's a little more on the wild side. Probably something I'm not gonna wear, but I'm kind of glad I got them for the collection. Now, that takes care of the miscellaneous type wearables. Let's move on to the boxed t-shirts. And we're gonna start with these two. Now, if you saw these in a store, especially since it says VHS on the side, the first thing you would think of is, okay, did they bring back the VHS, the VHS tapes that you could rebuy again? Nope. These are actual t-shirt boxes. There are t-shirts in the box. And you'll notice this one is based on A New Hope. This one is Return of the Jedi. They probably have one for The Empire Strikes Back, but unfortunately, I didn't see that one in the store. Didn't get that one. Um, small size, large size. Yeah, I'm not going to fit in a small size anymore, but hey, that's what they had left, so that's what I ended up getting. Uh, as far as what the t-shirts look like, well, with A New Hope, we have a t-shirt that features Darth Vader in a classic pose with the lightsaber in front of him, planet, or the Death Star behind him, I should say. Uh, I do like that these are commemorative edition Skywalker Saga shorts, shirts. Not too bad a design. The one from Return of the Jedi also features Darth Vader. And actually, it kind of is very reminiscent of the poster you saw way back then when the movie first came out. So pretty cool design again. This one happens to be the large ones. This one I could actually wear. Both of these were released by Funko Pop, or Funko. Funko does a lot more than just the pops that you see behind me. They do a lot of shirts, pins, and so forth and so on. So, very unique design with the box. I like the box design, especially that it looks like you're getting two VHS tapes. And these are the size of what the VHS tape boxes were back then. So, get those off to the side here. And then the really fun ones. And when I first saw these, I was thinking, why in the world are they coming up with cereal for Star Wars again? They haven't done that for a while. And then I started looking closer, and it's not cereal. Well, it says Boba Fett. Cinnamon-coated cereal, but there's no cereal in here. No, this is a t-shirt in here. And this one happens to feature Boba Fett. As you can see on the front of the box here, we've got Boba Fett was a cereal in front, but when you turn the box around and see it, now you can see what this t-shirt actually looks like, and basically the same design that you see on the front of the box. So not too bad, I do like all the way around, it does look like a cereal box, and even on the side, you'll notice it gives you the nutritional values. For example, uh, as far as the amount per serving goes, and there are four servings per container, I guess, even though there's only one shirt. Um, for the ser for uh, midichlorians, it gives you 200% of your midichlorians. For Sith Energy, you get 50%. For Sith Passion, 25%. Strength, 75%. For Jedi Energy, 100%. Peace, 75%. Knowledge, 25%. And of course, you'll want to use Bantha Milk for drink or for eating the cereal. It's just kind of neat how they played around with this and had fun with the box. So there is Boba Fett. And I do have two of the Boba Fetts. How can you go wrong with two Boba Fetts? The next one is Yoda. And as you can see there again, we got Yoda with the cereal. He's using the force to raise the spoon to bring to his mouth. This one happens to be a large again, so one I can wear. We look at the back again. We show what the t-shirt looks like, which is the same same design again as the front. As far as our nutritional label on this one goes, midichlorians 200%. I'm wondering if the, just take a quick look here. It looks like all the nutritional value is exactly the same between Boba Fett and Crispy Yoda's. So, what do you think of the Yoda t-shirt? I think it's kind of cool. The next one. 
Let's go to Chewbacca Berries. Yes, Chewbacca Berries. One of your favorite breakfast cereals, I am sure. And of course, this one features Chewbacca. And once again, he is eating his cereal also. So this one happens to be a medium. By the way, I bought these on sale. Walmart was closing out on them. So not too bad there. We also have Ewok Crisps. And uh, kind of a cartoonish Ewok. A little freaky looking, I think, don't you? There again, you can see the back, what the t-shirt actually looks like. And the last one of this series is Trooper Frosted O's. I do like that they came up with some unique names for these things. Chewbacca Berries, Ewok Crisp, Trooper Frosted O's. And this time you've got the Stormtroopers wanting to get their hands on that cereal. I don't know how they're going to get it through the helmet into their mouths, but they'll probably have to remove them, you know. There again, on the back, you can see what the shirt looks like. So, not too bad. This one happens to be small. And I have an extra large. So, when you buy stuff on sale, on closeout, you basically got to go with whatever's left. So, not too bad there. You know what? I think that maybe, should I open one? I have doubles of this one. I'm wondering if I should open it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see what it's like. Of course, we're going to have to do this carefully because I'm going to want to put it back in the box when we're done. So there we are. See what we got here. And like I thought, just the t-shirt in the box, nothing else. And the box does come in a plastic wrap to give it a little more protection. And it's just taped shut, so we can easily open that up. And wow, that is a bright blue, don't you think? What do you think of that? That'll catch your attention if you wear that to school, I would think. But still, and the fabric is not real thin. I'd say it's kind of the medium type fabric that you find on t-shirts. I've seen some t-shirts that are a lot thinner than this, but I've also seen t-shirts that are a lot thicker than this. So it's kind of a happy medium as far as the t-shirt goes. So there we have it. What do you think? Uh, like I said, the reason I bought these was more for the marketing than the t-shirt. I, I just like the marketing of these. And that's one thing I like about packaging. If the package really goes out of their way to... For one thing, have fun with it. And for another thing, kind of just maybe bring back a little nostalgia too, as what these did. I think they're I think they're kind of cool. I think they're fun. I think they're part of my Star Wars collection. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. What do you think? Do you like these things? Would it be something you'd wear? Leave a comment. Let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let me know that you enjoy these videos. And until next time, may the force be with you and keep collecting.